Hello and welcome to Stephanie B. Creativity. I am here with a really fun and quick, actually, <laughs> project. This is my little blue bunny. He's got movable arms. He's got lovely ears. And he's made with just four pieces. That's the cool thing here. If you are making one of these for a child under the age of three, I would highly recommend doing a embroidered face, do a embroidered nose and embroidered eyes. That way you don't have to fear anything popping loose and becoming a choking hazard. For over threes, generally you be the best judge of if you want to use safety eyes or not. I really enjoyed putting this bunny together. This bunny was done with the Super Saver, Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in the navy colorway. So that was my little blue bunny. This little bear was done with the Red Heart Super Saver in the latte stripe. He's called Patches and ah, this one is called Blue Bunny. <laughs> And this bunny that we're going to put together in this video is made with the Lion Brand Wool Ease. It is an 80-20-ish, 78% acrylic, 19% wool, and 3% polyester because this one is the White Multi and it has a sparkle. Look at that, it sparkles. And uh, the Lion Brand Wool Ease in the fancy design art, uh, art yarns is only 2.5 ounces or 70 gram ball. And I used 55 grams. What you wanna do is make sure that you have cinched all the ends. These are just basic tubes done on the 22 pin knitting machine. Uh, the long tail back and forth cast on using a needle and picking up your stitches at the end. So these tubes, the long tubes are 80 rows top to bottom. The arms are 20 rows top to bottom. That's all the knitting you needed. It took me about eight minutes to get all of my pieces made it sideways here because I want to count down 20 stitches and I'm going to put a marker and that's going to be because my ears are 20 stitches. Same as my legs. My legs are 20 also and then the head is 15 and then the body is in between whatever's left over. But I'm going to go and count down 1, 2, 3, 20 and I'm going to put a stitch marker there. You could just line them up and say, all right, that's good enough. I'm going to count one, two, 20. So what I'll do is I'm just going to use that same stitch marker and I'm just going to grab it like that. Then I'm going to count up from the bottom, 20. 19, 20. All right, and I've counted 20 up from the other side. We're marked at 20 and 20-ish. If it's off a little bit, it's not a big deal. Just, just relax. It's a toy. We're not worried about it being perfect. I am going to go ahead and grab a piece of the same yarn and I'm going to use that to stitch from the back of the head. This is the, this is the inside that's the back of the head right there, okay? Then we've got the body and then we have the legs. So we're going to do from the back of the head to the beginning of the legs and it's going to be mattress stitched. Just on the one edge, you want your stitches to be going the same direction. Now, I want you to see some, these are not lined up correctly. Right now, I have this one the pointed end is going that way. And this one, the pointed end is going that way of my little, of the little legs. See, I'll show you here. See this right here, the V is pointing to the right, but the one across from it 
the V is pointing to the left. We don't want that. So I'm going to take out my little stitch marker and I want my V to be pointing the same direction. And as long as you stay in the same column all the way down, so pointing the V on the, the, the V on the right. All right. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to go down and make sure that I have the same column facing up. And I am going to put another stitch marker just to make sure that as I go down, I'm staying in the same column. I don't want it to roll off on me. I'll do it again. This yarn is really lovely and squishy. And then, ooh, I actually had the right ones marked at this end. Cool. So now what we're gonna do is I'm going to go, I'm just going to go across here. So I came through right here. I'm going to pick up one bar there and I'm going to pick up one bar here. Whoops, get that out of the way so you can see. I'm going to pick up one bar here and pull through. I like to put a little slip knot on the end of my working yarn and slip a stitch marker through that slip knot. And what it does is that it makes it so if I pull too hard, I won't lose the end of my yarn somewhere in the tube and have to start over. So now I am going to go along and pick up one bar in each, each V all the way down, going back and forth. So I'm on the bottom one. Now I'm going back to the top one. And now I'm going to come back to the bottom one and see I'm picking up that, that bar right there. I'm going back to my pick up the bar, pick up a bar. I like, especially on something that's small like this, I like to do single bar instead of going across two. I like to go across one bar back and forth. It makes a tighter, more um, finished looking edge especially if you want to stuff a little bit tighter to be able to shape your creation. If you were interested in doing a little person, you would follow more of like the bear pattern. The little bear is only 60 rounds. And then you would put you wouldn't put the little bear ears on top. You would put hair on top. Now, something that happens as you're moving along, your line that you're, that you're following will roll in. So mine has rolled in. This, the V, remember my V is pointing to the right and the V is pointing to the right. So I need to roll back and kind of pinch it between my fingers which way I came from that side. So I'm on this one now. I pinch it between my fingers to keep it consistent. I try, I try. I mean, the, the more consistent you can stay, the more seamless your stitching is. And you notice I have not pulled this tight yet. I'm just, moving down along. All right, we're almost down to the very last few stitches. So now this is the back. This is the, the one end. I'm going to grab a hold of both ends and pull and boop. And after 
I've pulled. I give it a good stretch out to allow it to incorporate some of that yarn back. Look at that. Lovely. Now that we've got it all stretched out, we're going to lock that stitch in. Give it a couple, couple nice stitch type knots here, you know, where you go through and then go through again. And I'm going right through the knot the layers. So remember, this is, this is a two layer. So I can pick it up and just pop that inside and snip it off. I'm going to take the tail right here that's coming off of one of his feet. And this is going to be what I use to stitch the inside of this leg. So I'm going to fold and pull really tight. And then I'm going to do the stitch around just like you would for a hat. Stitch around those threads and then come back out. It's nice and tight. Now I'm going to fold it in half. So this is going to be the seam edge on the inside of that leg. I'm going to fold it in half, look for my, look for my little V's so that they're going the right direction. I'm going to stitch and stitch like that. And I'm just going to go back and forth and pick up a single bar for each one. And I'll meet you at the end of stitching the other leg together. So go and stitch both legs together now. But don't stitch them together. <laughs> you know what I mean. Make both legs. Once you've gotten to the point where you are all the way done stitching and you want to tighten up your, your stitches, when you pull it, if you pull slightly, you can actually get a little, a little bit of a bend to his feet or her feet, their feet, and you can kind of match them up like that. So now this little one has their feet that are kind of curled in just a little bit, gives a little bit more shape to the legs. I'm going to go ahead and Tie that off, just run it through a stitch. I'm going to run the other one through a stitch. I just want to lock those in place so they don't come loose. I'm going to use one of these as my, let's see here, I need another stitch there. There we go. Is that matched? Yes. Just want to lock them in place so that they don't come loose. And then I'm going to go ahead, since this one's already on the needle, I'm going to go ahead and just run this one up inside. Tie it off. I'm only stitching through the top layer. And then I'm just going to run that inside again pull it through and snip it. We need to get a drawstring across the bottom of the ears and a drawstring across for the head at the neck. I'm going to grab a piece of yarn here. I'm going to come up through the side right here. Make sure that you leave a tail on the outside. All right. And then I'm just going to go across and pick up every other stitch. I mean, blow the ears right there. So you want to make sure that you're gathering it right below the ears. And I'm just picking up every other, every other stitch ish. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. And 
and then out. Hold on to this first end when you're pulling through so that you don't lose it. If you think you might accidentally pull on it, you can put a slip knot in the end of both ends and put a stitch marker on it. Like that. And then you don't have to worry about losing it. If it gets pulled, it's not going to come out. Grab another piece of yarn. And now we're going to go down 15. And then I'm just going to go across. And I'm trying to stay, you know, on the same line. <laughs> if it's not perfect, it's okay. I don't think anybody is going to count your, your stitches. And the cool thing about this is that doing the, the stitching on, doing the knitting on our knitting machines just gets us to this fun assembly stage more quickly. Because the assembly stage really is the fun part here. All we're doing with our knitting machines, just the same as if you were doing it with needles, is you're making a fabric. And when you make a fabric, the fabric is there. It doesn't matter how the fabric was made, right? It's still, this is still a handmade bunny. Just to finish off this, this join down here, I am going to get the bottom of the belly stitched together. I'm not going to stitch it all the way, but I'm going to stitch maybe about five stitches up. And then we're going to stuff the legs. After the legs are stuffed, we're going to go up to the top and work our way back down. That's the, that's the way that makes most sense to me. If that doesn't make sense to you, then by all means, do it whatever way makes sense to you. You know, don't, don't think that I'm telling you this is the only way because I will never tell you this is the only way to do something. There are more ways under the sun to get this type of project done. That's four, five, about five stitches. That's good. And now, I do want to come down and reinforce this area below his, below the belly because it doesn't feel like it is as tight as it should be. So I will go ahead and do that. Like this. I'm just going to add some more stitches into that space below the belly and above the legs and even bring it into that space right here right at the right at the um, junction of the legs and the belly so let's just I want to reinforce that space There we go. That's feeling better. That's feeling better. More reinforced. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. So now what I want to do, go ahead and just tie this off on the inside really well because I don't want the stitches to come loose. I don't mind putting knots in my yarn when I'm doing it to the inside of a, of a stuffed toy. I'd rather have a couple knots in here before I run this inside between the layers. Snip it off. And let's grab that stuffing. This is just some craft crafters polyfill, polyfill. And I'm going to stuff the legs. 
It's a lot easier to stuff the legs when you don't have as far to go to get the stuffing down inside and that you can get your hand in like this. If you put your stuffing in too, in too big a clumps, it will clump apart. So let's, stretch that stuffing out a little bit. There we go. Yeah, you just don't want to put your stuffing in in too big a clumps. And I tend to leave this junction right here, just like on my little bear. I left that junction right there a little bit thinner and sort of stuffed in, you know, with his legs being stuffed here, his body is stuffed here, and there's sort of a natural bend. I like the natural bend. So we're going to keep that on this one also. Put some stuffing in the bottom of this foot. This is a toy. This isn't a, um, this, this is made to be loved and hugged and, and cuddled. So you don't want it to be too, too hard, but you do want it to have enough firmness that the, they don't flop. So I think that's good. I think that those little legs are stuffed firm enough. Maybe a little tiny bit more. There we go on that one and then a little bit more on this one. There we go. Love it. All right. Now we're going to go back up to the top and we're going to finish off the top of his ears. I'm going to thread my needle. I want that little hole to disappear. So what I'm going to do is come along the back side of, so this is the front side of the ear. I want to come along the back side of the ear like this and then come out the edge. See how that's starting to make that, that top little junction there not look quite, mu quite so much like a gathered up hole. See how that's starting to come together really, really tight. We're going to come uh, over the top. Since we came out right here, we're going to come over the top and sort of do a little whip stitch right over the top of that. Or a back stitch. And now I want the top of my ear to be connected just a little bit. So I'm going to make sure that these like two stitches are stitched together right here and then I'm going to come back through and you see how that's joined that it gives us that nice little cup over and then when when it's all drawn together here at the head you can have those cute ears oh my gosh I'm going to do that to the other one so after I stitch this and then hide the, I'm going to go across. That's pretty much knotted up now. And now I'm going to down through the inside, pull through. So now we're at the point where we're going to pull this over and we're going to stitch between the bottom of the ears and the neck. So 
So we're going to stitch the face together. All right. And we're using the thread that's coming off the back. So that way it's going to be joined. We will be doing some stitching across inside here so that the stuffing can't come through. So I'm going to come back and just put one tacking stitch all the way through the back between the ears. And now I'm just going to do the, the standard mattress stitch all the way down or to the neck. So I'm just going to go to here. We're leaving the tummy open for now because we want to be able to put safety eyes in and we need to be able to stuff the head. We're not putting any stuffing in the ears because the ears are open. I'll meet you back here when we have the head all stitched shut. All right, so now I have tightened up the face and I'm going to stretch it just a little bit because you don't want it to be so tight that it doesn't, that it doesn't move. Now I've got my two drawstring pieces here for the ears. I'm going to draw those together and you're going to go, but that's not very drawstringy. It's drawn together the inside of the head. All right. So if you see what it's done here, it's drawn together the inside. We're still not drawn on the outside and that's fine because what we're going to do is take this drawstring thread and we're going to use it to shape the ears, but I don't really want to shape them until after I get some stuffing inside the head. I'm going to put safety eyes on this little guy. I think this one is going to have blue eyes. My little blue bunny had brown eyes. So each safety eye has a washer. The nose has a washer. I am going to go ahead and put, because I know the nose is going to go right on the seam. I'm going to go ahead and just get my nose on. I'm not going to put the eyes on until I have put the stuffing in. Ah, there we go. You have to really make sure that the pieces that you're attaching, that those washers are so snug down, there's no way to get them off. Has these little barbs on the inside. So now I'm going to stuff the head. And I like to stuff my head fairly firmly. And, but I spread the stuffing out so when I put more stuffing in, I'm kind of like filling the stuffing with stuffing. See how we're getting this really cute shape? We're going to be stitching the ears with a twist in them so that they come forward. Oh, that's going to be so cute. But now that I've put the stuffing in, I can see where I want the eyes to go. And I think, do I want the eyes kind of wide apart? And that's from the nose, you go one, two, and it's in the space over. From the nose, one, two, and it's in the space over. So do I want them um, about there? I think I do. Set one up. I think that's pretty good. That's what I want. So now I can reach inside, flip it over, and put on that, that safety ring. And I'm going to reach inside, hold the eyeball with my finger, flip it over. I'm still holding it with my finger on the outside. And that is on really tight. So now those eyes aren't coming off. Now I can decide if I'm going to put any more stuffing in. I don't think I am. I think that's good for the stuffing. Feels nice. Feels firm enough that it's going to have, um,
He's going to have some... There we go. Feels firm enough that he's got some shape. I'm just tying this in an actual double knot. This was the drawstring. And you see again, we didn't go through the outside layer. And that adds to this soft sculpture type of look. And when we put the stuffing in the body and then we sew the arms on, that's going to pinch this in. See, it's going to pinch that right here. So then we have the, the shaping being done. You are so cute, little bunny. All right. And this one up here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and tie it. I am going to use the long end of this to stitch it in, but I'm going to go ahead and take these stitch markers off. I'm going to stitch down and leave about two fingers width so that I can get in here and stuff him. So I'm going to mattress stitch down. I'll meet you right there and then we'll finish up his body. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get some stuffing into the body. So I'm just using this crafters polyfill and I actually got a hold of one of the bags that was, I think, vacuum sealed. So it's really quite flat. Ooh, there we go. Ha! Ah, I love that. I love when that happens. The poof. So up here at his shoulders, I want it fairly tight. I'm going to sh shove quite a bit in here to make his little bunny hips. So I like to loosen up my stuffing. and then put it in. And remember how I did the head where I sort of separated the stuffing a little bit? So now we've got our little bunny hips, the bunny tummy. We're gonna finish, finish stitching this up and then I will come back. I'm just going to, the arms will be all stitched. I'm going to mattress stitch the arms. And when I get to the cast on edge, because I'm using that as a shoulder, I'm going to fold it in about a centimeter or a little less than half an inch. And that is going to become, see how that gets this really nice shape. That's going to become the top of his shoulder and the seam is going to be under his, under his hand or under his arm. And I will do that to both of these and we'll come back and finish stitching those on. Stitch on the arms. And look at that. So I don't like to put my arms right up here in the neck. I like to drop them down just a little bit. So that way when I cinch this in, it gives more shape to the body. So what I'll need to do first is get my thread or my yarn move so it is coming out of the outside about the center of the shoulder. And I'm gonna come down about a finger. So if I, if I know that I want his shoulder to not end up being right up in his neck. I'll put my fingers on either side of the neck like this. So when I go in and attach, like that, see, now I'm squeezing the body and I'm gonna pull that yarn through and I'm gonna check, is this lined up? Whoops, I ran through the thread, there it is. Is this lined up the way I want it to be? 
And you know, that one was maybe a little bit high, but I can fix it by just pulling it down. Did I put that on? No, that's the right way. So those are lined up pretty well. So I'm just going to go like this. Not go back. Don't go back in the same spot that you came through to begin with. Move over at least one stitch or half a stitch. There's that, there's that. And now I'm going to go across and I'm going to try and come back kind of close to where I went through to begin with. And see what's happening here is you're going to be able to move his little arms because you're making basically a long string connection. So you do need to go back and forth a few times. This would be the same as doing a, you know, a button hinge. You know, if you wanted to, you could stitch buttons. If you had a button on the underside of the arm and on the top of the arm to, to kind of pinch it with the buttons, but I'm not doing that. I'm just using the, the actual thread, the actual yarn going through and trying to come in and out in the same couple stitches. By going back and forth, we're going through the stuffing. We're going through several layers. Is that looking good? That's looking good to me. See, so you can whoosh. Now we're getting more of those bunny hips. You can go whoosh on his little head. And you're getting more of that kind of squished egg shape. I think that's good. I'm going to go back. I'm going to come out between the body and the arm. And I'm just like when you're sewing on a button and you wrap the button two or three times, the, th the thread beneath two or three times, and then you go through that back to the other side. Let's see if I can come out. Whoop, there we are. Come out right next to where I'm going to wrap on this side. These arms are not going to come off. There we go. Round and round two or three times. Then I'm going to go through that, through that wrap. I'm going to make a loop. Oops, make a loop and go through it. Kind of tie off that knot. Next, we're going to just take this and run it through the arm. That spare piece of yarn, run it through the arm, snip it off. And now we're up here. The last step is just to shape the ears a little bit. There's just going to be a couple stitches. See how these are the two parts of the ears together? I like to pull the front out and then just do a couple stitches back and forth. And then I come around to the back and I do a couple gathering stitches. So just in and out, in and out. Tie a knot. And then do the same thing on the other side. See what I mean? You just flip it back. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of a knot right there. It's okay. It's just going to blend right in. In and out, in and out. And you see right now how this is much fluffy out. 
what happens is when we do our gather on the back, it tightens it up. Makes it a little bit more, a little more detail. I'm going to tie this in a knot. I'm going to put all of these strings back to the inside. Aren't they absolutely adorable? Make sure to click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, make a bunch of bunnies, share them with the people that you care about, and I want to see you back here again really soon. Remember, do something creative, take care of yourself, and be kind out there. Bye!